What's up guys, it's your Average Gear Reviewer here. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell and leave us a comment down below. It really helps us grow our channel. Let us know what you think about the video. And as always, thanks for watching. What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel or... Welcome to the channel? I don't know, this is my first video, but uh, it may not be the first video that you're watching. So, hmm. Well, anyway, welcome to the channel. Uh, like and subscribe. I'm doing an unboxing. Um, full disclosure, I've always wanted to do an unboxing video. Um, Olight right now, um, as you can see, I'm a pretty big fan. But uh, right now, they're having a huge... 16th anniversary sale they have 40% off of a lot of their stuff it's still going on as of the time of this video uh april 24th 2023 but uh anyway probably just gonna go ahead and get into it uh, i've got a lot of different things here some of them were part of um bundles and i'll try to remember what those bundles were um so anyway, first up, we've got the Arkfeld uh, Dual Light Source EDC Flashlight. This one is the Cool White version. Uh, I don't know if you know or not, these have, that's a flat, wide EDC flashlight. And it's um, it has a laser light pointer with it. So that'll be really cool to check out. Um, next up, going a little out of order, this is a PL3R Valkyrie. Uh, it's a weapon-mounted light. Supposedly these are a thousand lumen, uh, fifteen hundred lumens. I'm sorry, and uh, I'm a huge fan of Olight gun lights. It's kind of what got me into them, uh, and then I found out about their EDC lights. And uh, yeah, it's been a real love affair ever since then. But uh, excited to check this one out because I have this holster that I've had for a long time. I ordered it for the wrong light, but uh, actually this is supposed to be the light that fits it. So. I'm super excited to see if that's going to work. Um, okay, so we'll get to that one. This is the uh, rail mount system. Uh, well, not the rail mount system. But this is the uh, remote light switch. Uh, it looks like it has a high and low setting. I apologize if my audio is terrible. Uh, I'm trying to modify my voice so I'm not talking too loud. And uh, I know there's a lot of glare, so I apologize for that, too. We got the uh, standard i5R EOS. It's supposed to be a great EDC flashlight. I can't wait to try this out. I'm going to try to do a comparison of all these, two. Maybe just uh, show how bright they are compared to each other. These are awesome. Uh, this is another version of the same light. It actually came in... Uh, I believe this was in one of the gift sets. I'm going to have to look this up and I'll try to put the links in the description. See, i3T EOS, another EDC flashlight I've been dying to check out. So, yeah, I really can't wait to check some of these out. The i3E EOS, right now, you get these free if you go to a light store and you sign up. Uh, you'll actually, they'll send you one of these for free. Um, they have a pretty cool program where you can, it's uh, I forget what they call it. I'm really going to have to research this better for if I do another video. Um, but they have a, um, basically you sign up for it and uh, you get like a free gift every month. And uh, they really run some great deals over there, uh, especially if you can find the right bundles. <clears throat> This is uh, their 16th anniversary is going on right now. This is their i16. Uh, it's exclusive for the 16th anniversary. And uh, this was a gift. And it is, I don't know a lot about this one. It's 180 lumens. So we'll have to check that one out. They had a mystery box, which one of these was in a mystery box. And this one was a free gift. You could get this or the uh, Gober lights, I think. And I'm so glad I got this one because I've been wanting to get one of these. And I just uh, just have not broke down and bought one yet. So, uh, super excited to have the O-Pin Mini. Yeah. 
Can't wait to check that out. Bolt action. All right, so let me clear some of this stuff off and we'll get started. Probably on the arc field, I guess. You can see these are unopened. So. I don't know if you guys know or not. Olight has like such a great unboxing experience. They're they're really, really super cool. Like the slide to open stuff gets me every time. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah. That oh yeah, that is nice. I don't know how well it conveys on a screen. It's I'm assuming this is aluminum. It feels super, super nice. Got the uh, blue detailing. Yeah, it's uh, it's awesome. Great pocket clip. Um, this is supposed to be a dual source, so I think you can run. Um, I think you can run regular batteries, or you can recharge it. But I will have to. There's the green laser. I know this is not going to show up. There's the green laser light. Pretty cool. It's got a safety feature. You have to hold it down to turn it on. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not. It has a has a little dial down below. It shows how much power it has. So that's kind of neat. That's really cool. A little a ASMR maybe for you're a fan of ASMR. Oh yeah, and these use the um, magnetic tail charger. So theoretically, you could hook this up to it because that's how it connects. So that's pretty cool. All right, awesome. That's the Arcfeld. I'll do a little more in depth on these if you guys want to see them. Um, right now, I'm just going to do the unboxing for each one. So that's the Arcfeld. And let's see. What do I want to do next? Okay. Now we can do the, um, we'll do one of the i5Rs. I'm not going to open both of these because they're both the same. <clears throat> I don't figure you guys want to see. I'm too impatient. I've literally been waiting all day to open these. Just had some issues trying to... Oh, and everything falls out. I don't know about you guys. I don't know how you feel about it. But the blue and the black looks really, really good to me. I'm loving that colorway. Okay, yeah, you got to take the um, take the insulators off of these, I guess, before you can use them. So much fun. Oh yeah, it's nice and bright. Like I said, I'll try to do a comparison of the flashlights against each other maybe at the end of the video. But, you know, like I said, right now I'm just trying to get them all opened up. This packaging is going to get out of control really quick, I can tell. So that's the uh, i5R EOS, if you didn't catch that. <clears throat> I know somebody's going to ask in the comments down below. Yeah, it's a Civivi Elementum, just a basic one. I know. This is average gear review, guys. If somebody wants to send me a Microtech, I'll uh, use that to open boxes. Uh, let's look at the i5T. How about that? Or the i3T, sorry. i3T EOS. It's a little bit slimmer version. Oh, see, this is how dumb I am. Couldn't even figure out how to open the box on the other one. Sweet, smooth, smooth package. 
Olad experience. I always screw this up. I never know which side's up. Read me. Read me. Okay. I three T EOS. Nice little slim tail cap. Pretty sure I'll have to take the. Yep. So much fun. It's got a high, low, medium seconding, I think. That's a super bright. Um, you can see how the size of it. It's a pretty good size little flashlight. Um, nice EDC light. Okay, the i3 EOS. Let's let's open this one next. These are great. I've had um, three of these so far. Gave one to my dad, one to my son. I didn't end up with one for myself, so this one actually gets to be mine. Read me. Read me. Say it with me. So much fun. I have them in all sizes now. Oh yeah. Packaging is definitely getting out of control over here. Uh, it's the i3 EOS. I love these. These are great. Perfect size for a keychain. Uh, very simple operation. You screw to turn it on. You can actually push to turn it on if you have it screwed into the uh, screwed in a little bit. Uh, this is super handy, super bright little light um, for the size. A lot of bang for the buck there. That one's going to run all over the place. Okay, let's open the um, the I-16. This is one that I really want to read some more about. Um, it just seems, uh, I don't know a whole lot about it, and I know that it's new for the year. I think it's for the 16th anniversary, so... Kind of interested to check that out. Smooth packaging. We love it. We love it. Look at that. Noise. Yeah, you, know, you know, just as an aside, I'll probably have some extra USB C connectors after this, so, uh, you know. I'll let you, boy. Hey, guys. It's your average gear reviewer back here for a second. Um, just wanted to let you know. This video runs a little bit long, so I'm going to split it into two pieces. And we'll do a part one and a part two. And um, I also realized that um, after looking at it, this is the HCRI version of this light. And they are not the same. So I'm going to do an unboxing on this one as well. So, uh... Look for that in the uh, description below, and also uh, I'll try to put a link at the end of the video, but thanks for hanging out. Just wanted to say thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and leave a comment down below. Uh, follow us on Instagram at Average underscore Gear, or Twitter at Average Gear Review. Have a good one.